Hey everyone, this is Zach, and we are here with another episode of Hope for Master Ball. Today we are going to continue using the Calyrex uh, Dialga Thunderous team, which in the last episode was basically just a Calyrex team, but we were able to play it really well. So I think this is going to be the last episode with this team, and then I might pick up a rental code, or I might start just working uh, team building the next team let me know what you want to see in the comments down below but if you guys enjoyed this content do not forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to answer the comment question of the day what are your predictions for the pokemon day uh stream uh so here gasheron kind of stinks uh But we could go Calyrex here. And then maybe Dialga. I really want Tapu Fini though. It's just that if you bring Gastrodon, that doesn't offer much for handling. I think. Since we have to pivot to with Trick Room, I think having having Tapu Fini is actually pretty good. Then this was the same four that we used in the last episode, and it it was it brought us a lot of success. So it's. Now it feels kind of hard to break that four or choose any anything other than that four. There has to be a really good reason. So we just have maybe Dark Pulse here, threatening the flinch. Other than that, we have a pretty solid Trick Room. Rock Slide. And oh my goodness, it worked! Alright, so... Obviously, we, we have to try for the Trick Room again. Hopefully they don't get a double knockout here. Or if they do get a double knockout, it's because we were able to take out the Zacian. Oh no, that's a bulky Zacian.
Do I max guard here? You should just double in. The double on the Calyrex should be enough to knock it out. Okay, so I think I have to max guard and bring an ensign. There's the Gastrodon. But they should just double into, like, they should uh, just target the Feeny with something. Because Gastron's gonna attack because it doesn't, it can't use Yawn. So Instant's probably gonna get knocked out anyway. Yeah. I think we Moonblast here. And try to go into the Gastrodon. I think we should just see like a Dark type move into the Calyrex. Yeah, there's that foul play. I mean, there's not much uh, we can do about that. Like, Rock Slide isn't common on your Veltal, and there's not much we can do about preventing a 30% chance. Now, in a game two situation, like, I would have to play a 50 50 where I might want to lead the same thing and they might want to lead the same thing and try to fake out the Veltal. But if the Veltal just maxes, uh, that defeats the purpose of the fake out anyway. So I think game two, I would 
I would definitely try the same thing because you're not going to get that rock slide flinch every single time. Yeah, that was just, that was their win con. That was their turn one win con and they pulled it off. Okay. So hard trick room here. We could just go Finny and Dialga and like bulk up. And then we can run our own Calyrex. And do we want Incin or do we want Mimikyu? What if I just want to go full aggro? Um, and I want to bring Finny because I think Finny has like a good play here. Indy and Dustclops. We should just see a follow me here. And honestly, if they try to burn, we could just reverse trick room. Because Palky is not that big of a threat because we have Thunderbolt on Dialga and then we also have Assault Vest. And you're going straight for the will o -Wisp. Okay. So that might mean you do have Palky in the back. Yeah, there's the Palkia. Palkia's going to max here. Uh, we have to see whether we are faster, because we are no speed investment, but we're 31 IV. So if they are zero speed to help in the trick room, but I don't think with the Palkia, I think you would rather be zero investment, like 31 speed.
might be... Okay, burned up minus one. You're not doing anything at this point. So I want to bring in Feeny to get that special defense boost. And not to mention the Misty Terrain is going to um, bring down any damage that Max Dragon would do. And there's the trick room. I think we can calm mind here because we're already plus one. And Feeny is actually the second slowest thing on the field. Yeah, I think a Moonblast doesn't hurt here. Okay, so they want to start getting chip on Dialga. Which, besides the chip damage, that really doesn't bother us. We get the knockout on the Palkia. And there's the Calyrex. There's two more turns of Trick Room. So I want to switch an Ensign and focus on getting the Dusclops off the field. Ally sit, switch, trick room, will o wisp. Uh, you probably don't have pain split. Fakeout should go over ally switch, right? Oh crap, I forget. I think it does. I'm gonna feel really stupid if it doesn't. 
Calyrex just protects. Okay. So here I want a parting shot. Bring in Finny. We'll heal Pulse Dialga here. That better be them. It should be them. Yeah, so... Salt Vest... Assault Vest. Yeah, so we both went for our Assault Vest uh, Gen 4 Dragons. And Weakness Policy. So we, we were playing around the Weakness Policy. Seed Bomb is not something that I think about when I see the Callies. I totally forget about it. So that could have been a really good play. That could have been a really good call. Um, but still at that point, like we would have gotten the heal pulse off. We would have healed up the Alga. We would have been able to switch an instant, not only get a fake out, but get another intimidate off, which would have left it at minus two, which, eh. but I think we just played that one really well. Oh, and nothing like a good DC, you know. It's been a while since I got one of those. Oh, Zygarde Kyogre. Ah. Uh. You could always bring Porygon. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so no Porygon. Are we faster than the Rillaboom?
Oh, the drum beating. It goes through. It goes through. We did hit you with the Intimidate, though. We do hang on. And you taunt it. We get the trick room up. So I want to flare blitz the Rillaboom. And I want to wisp the Umbreon. Oh, the Umbreon's slower. Let's bring in the Tapu Fini and get Royal Boom off the field. We're taking a foul play right to the face. That's going to stink, but it's going to activate weakness policy. You let your Zygarde take a max Hailstorm. Then again, you get to keep uh, terrain positioning. Or you don't, because we can switch out instant. That does a lot. They got into the finny. If we don't knock out Umbreon, we lose. Nope. So the play there was to... Max Hailstorm. 
max guard and mo and like try to moon blast. There's one more turn of Trick Room. I'm gonna go big and say the instant parting shots. Umbreon probably moonlights, recovers, uh, instant parting shots. Just straight for the Flare Blitz. Why? Why? Okay, so we knock out the Umbreon. Yeah, you Grassy Glide and win. They could overthink it, you know. They're not going to, though. Good game. Um... Let's see. Preserving Calyrex a little longer probably would have done better if I got into a situation. This Umbreon was so good for that situation because I thought I could pivot in sin and I couldn't. And I didn't expect the Umbreon to be slower than the Mimikyu. I thought it would be at least over 90 uh, and if I was able to get the burn off on to the Umbreon, like f the first initial foul play would have done a lot less, which would have given me the opportunity to just like put out more damage. Oh, I've, I've seen this team before. We have to bring the Ensign, even though it's probably Defiant Thunderous. Are you Defiant? Yes, you are. We'll fake out Trick Room.
So their goal is to stall out Trick Room. Electro Web, which is... I didn't expect that. Kyogre? Yeah, so some chipping to Kyogre isn't too bad. So I just want a Darkest Lariat and Shadow Claw into the Kyogre, get as much damage onto it as possible. Ooh. That was a crit. Mmm, yes. This, this stinks, though. Okay, so Trick Room's over. Let's try Flare Blitz. And Shadow Sneak might be enough. Kyogre is really defensively bulky, though. Yeah, we have to try to get Trick Room up. Because you have to target Mimikyu at one of them.
Unless you rock slide with extra drill. Dang. They probably doubled into the Calyrex. Let's see how much Muddy Water does. How do I play that one better? I just, it's so weird that they like, like we had good things happen, like the critical hit Darkest Lariat, but it was also bad because it didn't get the knockout on Mimikyu or Ensign. So like we couldn't get the free switch into the Calyrex. Um, this should just one shot. Actually, no, I think Phoenix survives. No, Phoenix survives after Intimidated. No, Phoenix survives. Good game. Yeah, once getting getting that critical hit, especially if I knew that they were going to they were going to be passive with the Kyogre and protect, like getting that good hit into uh, the darkest layer out, like I, at that point I should have pivoted out. But it happens. Well, typical Pokemon, we had some good matches <laughs> last episode and this episode. I feel like they were still good. It's just that, like, we we got all played on the last two. The first one, uh, they got the lucky 30% chance to flinch. And then the second one, like, we played it really well. So I still think this team is really good. I still like the team. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this, do not forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to answer the comment question of the day. Until next time, I am Zach, and we will see everyone later.